Good morning. Yeah. Say good morning, Kim Kate's family. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get out the. Whoa. I'm gonna get out the music toys for today. What do you think of that? Okay. What is up, Kincaid's family? Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. We are in January. It is 2021, new year. We're about to have some fun, okay? So today's vlog is gonna be all about, it's gonna be kind of like a mix. So it's gonna be kind of like a day in the life, but also it's a new year. So you know that we're gonna be talking about our goals for 2021. I wanna make very clear that I use the word goals and not resolutions. I feel like the word resolutions has kind of a negative connotation to it. I try to use words that are gonna be best towards my mental health and the word resolution, that just doesn't jive well with my mental health. So we're using the word goals. It's a little bit lighter. It feels a little bit less impossible. And I just wanna also point out first and foremost, Okay, I just, no, not gonna put that out there. I'm just not a thing that's happening in this household. But the other day, Logan and I sat down and we made a list in my journal of all of our goals for 2021. So my personal goals, Logan's personal goals, and then the goals as a family. I will say right off the bat that we do have a couple of financial goals and um, we're just not gonna talk about those. I'm just gonna put very broad that we have financial goals for 2021. <sighs> Guys, I'm excited. Let's get into it. This morning, I woke up at around 6.30ish and that's one of my goals for 2021. Not to wake up at 6.30, but to wake up before Lou every morning because I've been getting into this really bad habit of waking up at the same time as Lou and then I don't have the opportunity to sort of collect myself, have my own little bit of me time. It's like I wake up and boom, immediately I have things to do with Lou. So this morning I woke up, had a little bit of time to myself after Logan went to work and I just got to enjoy the morning for about an hour before Lou woke up and it was glorious. I got to edit some footage it was great. I will also point out that I updated the door slash bulletin board, and we'll get to that in a second because that also covers one of our goals. Alrighty, well, now that Lou has had her bottle and she's a little bit more content, we can kind of get into what's happening on this bulletin board slash, you know. It's just the pantry door. Uh, <laughs> for 2021. So as you guys know, I normally decorate this pertaining to whatever holiday is coming up, but it's January. So I thought that it would be fun to kind of like actually make it a structured school type bulletin board. And honestly, I think I might leave it this way and then maybe put up a different, like make a different door, the holiday decorating door. So let me just show you what's going on with this door now. Okay, so I put up here today is, and I've made this little timeline for the week where it's like the days of the week and this little guy right here just pulled off of Monday so that needs re-hot glued but it's velcro so it's supposed to be able to move from each day of the week and then I've got down here different like weather description words so these are also supposed to velcro I'll be a little bit more gentle yesterday it was cold and cloudy today whatever I think it's gonna be the same so we just leave the guys there and then this is the part I'm really excited about so I put up like a daily schedule for me to kind of follow and then like a weekly list of different things I can do around the house so this kind of taps into like two different goals that I have for 2021. The first one being that I want to get into a little bit more of a structured curriculum for Lou. I know that she's gonna be only one next month, but I really want to start kind of transitioning her into like a more structured homeschool because she's gonna be a toddler and I just, I wanna start teaching you some more stuff. So I've set aside a time every single day that we will do circle time slash homeschool activities. And then a time every single day where we'll do like structured play or like an activity or a craft. 
Isn't that right? Now I'm sure some of you are kind of wondering what the second goal is uh, with all the like things that are up on the door. And that is that I just kind of want to start sticking to a routine every single day. And the reason for that is because being a stay-at-home mom has been absolutely amazing. I've been a stay-at-home mom for almost a whole year and I, I absolutely love it. I can't wait to see what the years to come have in store for us, especially now that I'm prioritizing homeschool so much. But the thing is that I kind of have these days where I kind of fall into a slump because I, there's no structure to my days. I just kind of wake up whenever, do whatever, and it's just, it's for someone like me who typically has one or more jobs, like ever since Logan and I got engaged, I've always had two jobs. So now that I kind of don't really work other than like being a stay-at-home mom and having the vlog, I kind of get into these slumps where like I don't do anything. So I think that having a structured routine is gonna help me feel like I have a little bit more going on. Like I actually have a job to do every single day, something to get me up and moving every single day. Now, I know that the chore chart is probably a little bit offsetting to a couple of you. Um, it's the word chore seems a little bit derogatory, I know, but it's, it's just, it's not supposed to have a negative connotation. It's just supposed to like give me something to do every day uh, on the days that maybe I don't have like content to do or like when Lou is napping and that sort of thing. And it just kind of helps me to not turn into a couch potato, which kind of leads into the next goal, which is that I want to seriously limit the amount of TV that Lou and I watch every single day. Normally when we wake up in the morning, immediately I put on cartoons to play in the background. And from now on, I kind of want to descale that. I've sort of set a time on the schedule to have like TV time and that doesn't start until 2 p.m. So the goal is to not turn on the TV until 2 p.m. because if we're not watching cartoons, we're watching like Grey's Anatomy all day. So we're trying to descale that y'all. We're trying to cut that back. So yeah, those are the goals. our last video then you know that we have a new high chair for Lou thanks to Logan's parents aka Lou's nanny and papa and I just wanted to go ahead and show it to you really quick so this is the ingenuity smart clean trio elite three in one high chair yes I am fully aware that that is a mouthful the thing that's really nice about it is obviously the fact that it's smart clean. So this top piece actually pops off and you just wash this top tray. And then the high chair itself right here, this seat breaks down so that you have the high chair or you can completely remove it from this top piece right here and make it just the chair or you can make it into just the booster seat or you can take all of this off entirely and make it like a restaurant style high chair. This isn't by any means a sponsor or anything like that. We just really love this high chair and wanted to show it to you guys. It's just, it, it saves us a major headache, honestly. Oh, and by the way, you guys, none of this is cloth. It's all like a squishy foam type texture. I don't really know for sure. And it all actually pulls out, by the way. You just have to kind of detach it from the straps and the top is separate from the bottom. So it's seriously such an easy clean. All right, you. Are you ready for circle time? All right, I'm gonna sit you down right here. 
While you play with those, I'm gonna read you a book, okay? Giraffes Can't Dance. Hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. For a splendid Scottish reel. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end! Do you want this book? Here you go. Now we're gonna do our number cards. Are you ready? One. Two. Ten. Ten balloons. Oh, good job, baby. Let's do our shapes. Ready? This is a white oval. Whoa. W white oval. Good work. Now we're gonna do something really, really fun, okay? We are going to look at this big book of words and we are gonna look at the first page, okay? This says food. F-O-O-D, food. Ooh. Now watch this. This first word right here, this is corn. Now we're gonna use your letter blocks to spell the word corn, okay? All right, you guys, well, Lou just went down for her first nap, so I thought that right now would be a good time to kind of share the rest of my goals with you. So I know that I said that Logan also has his own list and he will share those with you when he comes home from work. First of all, I don't know if you guys noticed, but this morning I was doing my skincare routine and although I film it sometimes, usually only the days that I'm filming are the days that I actually do my morning skincare routine. Um, I've just kind of gotten out of the habit of doing it because Lou just kept waking up earlier and earlier and earlier and I just kept not prioritizing time for myself. So that is one of my goals for 2021 is to prioritize my morning skincare routine. And honestly, you guys, my skin is pretty broken out right now. So that's really annoying. I'm hoping that getting back into the habit of doing both morning and nighttime skincare routines will kind of help clear that situation up. Also, I feel like, you know, I need some more sleep and I need to drink more water and I need to be less stressed and a lot of other things. But hopefully just the skincare alone will help. <laughs> Other things on my list, move my body every day. So I know that I told you guys that I don't have any like weight loss goals and I don't, but I do want to make a habit of moving my body somehow every single day. It's winter right now. So obviously the like going out for walks uh, idea isn't exactly something that I'll do every day. Moving my body just means like maybe I'll work out. Maybe I'll do some stretches. Maybe I'll just kind of walk up and down the steps. Maybe I will go for a walk. It's just totally open-ended. I don't want to like work out for any certain goal. I just want to just move my body so that I feel good. Also, as a part of that, one of my other goals is to continue to be kind to myself. So I had a baby in 2020 and it's really easy after you have a baby to start nitpicking your body and telling yourself that you need to lose weight or this isn't what it used to look like or this isn't what it used to look like. Basically, after you have a baby, your body becomes completely foreign to you. It doesn't look at all what it used to look like. You might be heavier, your boobs might be a different size, you might have stretch marks, whatever. And so rather than letting that completely destroy me in 2020, I chose to look at the positive and be happy and love my body for what it did. I had a baby. My body created a human being, birthed that human being, and then my body fed that baby for six months. So I chose to look at all of those things rather than looking at the negative. And even now going into 2021, even though it's almost been a whole year since having a baby, I'm going to continue to choose to be kind to myself rather than saying, oh, 
well, it's been a year, better start losing the rest of the baby weight. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna put myself in that headset. I think in order to maintain a healthy lifestyle, you just have to do whatever makes you happy. And what makes me happy is not restricting myself and choosing to look at my body in the mirror as beautiful and sexy the way that it is rather than trying to change it. Because in my mind, if I start nitpicking things, I'll never stop. I'm going to continue to be kind to myself and love myself for where I'm at now. And then finally, you guys, I think my last goal is just that I want to pursue my faith a little bit stronger than what I have been. I can make a million excuses for why I'm not doing devotionals every day or why I'm not journaling every day or why I'm not spending time with God every single day. I can make a million excuses, but I'm not gonna do that because I want, I would rather just wipe the slate clean and move forward and say that this is my new priority to strengthen my relationship with God and just have a stronger faith so that I can demonstrate that faith to my daughter. That's all of them, you guys. That's all of my goals for 2021. It's kind of a hefty list, but none of them are unachievable, I don't think. I think they're all good lifestyle goals. So there you go. All right, you guys, what's up? So it's actually many hours later and Lou is actually down for bed. <laughs> so Logan, why don't you just go ahead and tell them what happened? I was on my way home from work. I left a little early because I got a call from the, uh, the mechanic shop and they said my car was done. I was driving a rental and I was on my way home and I got rear-ended. But anyways, Logan. Yeah. I got the journal out where we wrote down your goals for 2021. Very personal. And I thought that you could tell them what some of yours were. Well, I wrote down that, um, you know, I want to continue to find my dream job, um, whatever that may be. Um, God will let me know. Mm -hmm. I also wrote down here, just be kinder to self. I'm sure a lot of you out there uh, probably feel the same way uh, about yourself whenever you're um, a little harder on yourself than you are anybody else, honestly. Uh, find a hobby. Um, I don't really have a hobby between my job, Lou and Megan and our life here. I don't really have a, a hobby or anything like that. So find one that I really enjoy so I can enjoy life a little bit more. <laughs> um, listen to God more and, and let him speak through me um, and to me. A lot of times I catch myself making decisions uh, based on what I feel is the best for the situation. And uh, I feel like if I were to listen to him more, um, he'd be able to bless me a lot more, Definitely. but, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all the things I want to be working on this year. All right, you guys. Well, those are all of the goals for the Kincaid family for the year of 2021. Thank you so, so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe on both YouTube and Facebook if you have not done so already. And make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. Give it a like because it really supports our channel. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't you forget to tick that notification bell down below so that you get notified every single time we post a new video. Babe, what else should they do? Go tell all your friends, guys. Go tell all your friends about our channel, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Be sure to tune in next time. Bye. Yeah.